Hey, Majors on the internet, Matt here from Total MTG, and welcome to today's MTG Top 8 List video. So today I'm going over Flavor Text. Flavor Text is just, it's just what can make some cards really, really cool. It's a way that they can tell a story. It can be a great quote from maybe a character in Magic the Gathering. It can be a quick one-liner. It can be so many things, and these words can resonate with a lot of MTG players. So I will just say this is my top eight list and yours may differ. What I'd love to know in the comments is some great flavor text cards that you personally like yourselves. Put them in the comments so we can share them all and everyone can have a look at. You know, there might be some that obviously there's going to be lots that I've missed because this is only a top eight. But I'd love to hear your thoughts and your favorite flavor text cards. So the first card I'm starting with is Obliterate. Obliterate is an amazing card full stop. It's a commander staple in some red decks. A lot of people obviously don't like playing this card, but the flavor of this card is so, so cool. When you look at what the card does, obliterate can't be countered, destroys artifacts, creatures, lands. They can't be regenerated. And then just look at the flavor text. The enemy has been destroyed, sir. So have the forest, the city, your palace, and your dog. Now that is, it's a funny flavor text, but it just resonates with the card so well because it obliterates everything even your poor pet. So Obliterate is definitely one of my favorite flavor texts and will come in at number eight. Coming at number seven for me is an artifact called Fodder Cannon. And this just represents goblins so, so well. You look at the art, it's very on theme with the favor text as well. Step one, find your cousin. Step two, get your cousin in the cannon. Step three, find another cousin. Basically, that's what goblins do. They sacrifice themselves to do lots of damage. And the flavor text, while being funny as well, is so representative of how goblins are in Magic the Gathering. Fodder Cannon is definitely a favourite of mine. What do you think of it as well? I think it's absolutely hilarious. So Henry van der Linde illustrated this. I'm sorry if I'm buttering some of these names. You know what I'm like. Seth Ranovin's got nothing on me with buttering names. But Wheel of Torture, the old-fashioned art, I love it on these some of these brown cards. A lot of people don't like them, but I personally do. I'd like to buy a bowel. This is yet another funny flavour text, but it does explain the picture so well and the name of the card. Wheel of Torture, we've got a, looks like an elf, or is it, yeah, it looks like an elf there just by going by the ears, it's just strapped over uh, some kind of contraption, and it's basically going to lose a lot of, a lot of personal, personal body parts that it would like to buy back. Wheel of Torture comes in at number six for me. So coming in at number five for me is Distress. And Distress is what this card is all about. And the flavor text of, of course I'm sure I've gone mad. The little man who crawled out of my eye was quite clear on this. And yes, the art and the actual name of the card, the flavor text just combine so well here. You would be in distress if you had a creature or a person crawling out of your eye. And I love the art here from Michael C. Hayes as well. Absolutely amazing, and the flavor text is certainly, certainly on point. Coming in at number four, one of my favorite cards in Magic as well. It is Counter Spell. Now, what rep, you know, what Blue is all about is countering Magic, Counter Spell, drawing cards, and then when you actually Counter Spell, the thought that probably ran through your head possibly is the flavor text. It was probably a lousy spell in the first place. I mean, that is just blue in a nutshell. You're stopping your opponents playing cards and you don't think much to what your opponent is playing anyway because you counter it. It's a lousy spell, especially if it's not a counter spell and not a blue spell. Down to the top three flavor text for me now. Really, really would like to see yours in the comments as well. So don't forget, like I said at the start of the video, to put yours in there as well. Gorilla Titan, absolutely hilarious flavor text. You look at the art there as well of Heather Hudson, the gorilla there standing a big titan with his arms open wide. And the flavor text is, I want a banana this big. That is just a cracking one line funny for me. Flavor text, perfect, absolutely. Makes you smile when you read it. It really does to me anyway. And I'm sure it gave you a little chuckle if you've never seen this car before. The gorilla there with his arms open wide. All it wants is a big banana. Coming in at number two then is Phyrexian Obliterator. It's a horror creature. Amazing, amazing art by Todd Lookwood here. 5-5 five, five, Trample. Whenever a source deals damage to the Obliterator, that source's controller sacrifices that many permanents. Now you look at the flavor text here is from Shieldred Whispering 1. Behold, blessed perfection. 
Now this creature is pretty much on perfection. It's big stats, 5-5, five, five, and has an amazing ability. So the flavor text is so on point with this. You just look at that creature as well. It's just, it is a horror. Without a doubt, it's a horror. It's behold, the blessed perfection that is Phyrexian Obliterator. So coming in at number one for me is a card where its flavor text just totally describes this card because although it's only a common, it's so, so powerful. Lanoir Elves, amazing. Now, one broken bone for every twig snapped underfoot is this card. It wants to do damage, exactly. So when that, you know, you've seen how powerful that statement is. Lanamore Elves as a turn one play, as anyone that plays Magic the Gathering knows, is an extremely powerful turn one play. The little innocuous 1-1 one, one Elf Druid for one green mana. The flavor text just speaks out of how strong to me this card is. You have the elf there, the big powerful elf with the sword, the soldier elf is there. It means to do damage, it means to ramp you into some really big powerful stuff. And Lanoir Elves, the flavor text for me is perfect for it and comes in at number one. So mages on the internet, this was my top eight flavor text. I really do hope you enjoyed my list and maybe you saw some cards that you just never knew existed and had a little laugh along the way. Put in the comments yours, I'd love to read them, some really poignant ones that, are, that you think are very good and related to the story or just some funny one-liner ones. I'd love to see them all. Thanks a lot for watching the video. Don't forget if you like the video today, hit the like. There's loads of videos you can go and watch in past as well. So go look on the homepage and go and have a look at some previous playlists or anything like that. If you're new to the channel, don't forget to hit the subscribe button as well. It really does help push the channel further. And share the video with your friends is another way to support the channel for free. Thanks a lot everyone. Take care and I'll see you on the next video.